Welcome to Sand Compounding. In today's session, we will analyze what return on assets means. Return on assets is, is a very important factor in determining the efficiency of management or productivity of management in sweating the assets and producing maximum outcome. So re uh, return on assets can be disaggregated into two factors, profit margin multiplied over by asset turnover. That's one formula. It also, or it can be, uh, you know, put together as uh, return on operating assets plus return on non-operating assets. So there are two ways to calculate. The first way is very straightforward profit margin. We discussed earlier sessions, like it's a net profit margin and um, multiplied by asset turnover, which we saw. So this, uh, this formula is part of the return on equity formula which we saw the, from return on equity if you remove the financial leverage part of it this um, return on assets we get so return on equity is nothing but return on assets multiplied by the financial leverage let's delve more detail into uh, the return on operating assets plus return on non-operating asset why because this is a very important formula especially in when there are businesses where there is a lot of capital involved uh, you know return on operating assets is a very significant factor that can determine how efficiently the company is sweating the assets so it can be calculated like you know the return on net operating assets uh, you know can be calculated as net operating profit after tax or no pat divided over uh, net operating assets and what are net operating assets they are nothing but subtracting the operating liabilities from the operating assets operating assets completely cover all directly they are linked with you know operating activities of the company that includes cash receivables inventories property plant and equipments capitalized lease assets intangible assets and uh, what do operating liabilities uh, indicate? They are like directly linked again to the operations, uh, something like payables, accrued expenses like wages, deferred tax liabilities. Subtracting one from other, we get the net operating assets and we can calculate the net operating profit after tax from the income statement. So just between income statement and balance sheet, we can achieve um, ar arriving at this value. And it uh, really signifies how efficiently the company is running the assets. Another important ratio to analyze efficiency is to measure fixed asset turnover. Uh, again, uh, you can get the sales, total sales from the income statement, divide it over the average net fixed assets or net block, which we can get from the balance sheet. So if there is an incremental or increase continuously happening in the net fixed asset turnover, it indicates something um, you know, powerful that the company is doing, something different the firm is doing, and it deserves uh, you know, further investigation on what's going on in this firm. From an investment angle, asset like companies generally, you know, not not a uh, given uh, definition, but it generally have they have high returns and uh, will be great businesses when it is underpinned by strong um, earnings growth and um, a strong monopoly. Efficiency analysis from return on assets, uh, you know, this is uh, there are multiple factors, multitude of factors that we need to uh, take in control when we do the efficiency analysis. Um, so, uh, for example, step, steps that can be incorporated by the firm to improve the productivity of a firm are, you know, they can increase um, capacity utilization and throughput of the existing assets to generate more sales volume out of the existing capacity. They can involve in process like de bottlenecking and increase uh, the throughput. They can eliminate non-performing assets which are overhead costs of maintenance for the firm. And uh, this is a very important exercise in improving the return ratios. Channelize the investments towards performing assets by and eliminating non-performing assets. They go hand in hand and both has to be done consistently by the management. Reducing man manufacturing costs by moving towards asset light models like uh, you know outsourcing to uh, low cost firms uh, for manufacturing. And the final point is like focusing on working capital reduction by having stringent measures on cash conversion cycles, um, you know, high efficiency in inventory management, like using methods like just in time delivery or uh, time to order, etc. So this is uh, this involves there could be multiple other f steps in the age of uh, AI and automation. But in you know, automation itself is a very um, significant factor, which I've not mentioned, but you know, it's part and parcel of increasing throughput. Uh, automation is a very important factor and today's world of AI can really drive efficiency in multitude of other ways innovatively. So this is about the return on assets and um, how uh, the efficiency analysis can be done from an investing standpoint. So hope this session was useful.